Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sawyer Center SNU Basketball live and on the air tonight. The Crimson Storm wrapping up arguably the greatest year in program history. 2019, one for the books as they take on Southwestern College of Kansas. Hi, everyone. Luke McConnell up here in the Crow's Nest here at the Sawyer Center and excited to bring you final game of 2019 for the Crimson Storm. Should be a great action for you between uh, the Crimson Storm coming off a huge win against number 14 Southeastern on Saturday afternoon, taking on Southwestern College of Kansas from the NAIA ranks. The Mound Builders coming in, having played three of the past four days, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. So this will be their third day in a row with a basketball game. And surely they are a little bit worn out. They will be without starting point guard Justin Crudell tonight as well, but should be offer a firm test for the Crimson Storm as we come down the stretch of 2019. Again, SNU coming off a great win, 77-65 over Southeastern on Saturday. Jonathan Dunn, 34 points, 15 rebounds in that contest, giving him a second straight Great American Conference Player of the Week honor this week. And for the first time in SNU history, a U.S. Basketball Writers Association uh, National Player of the Week honors. Um, again, the first time an SNU player has garnered that recognition and the first time a Great American Conference player has garnered that recognition since 2016. The Mound Builders come into today's game averaging nearly 90 points a game. They shoot 46% from the field, 39% from three-point range. They can fill it up and also get out and run a little bit. Coach Adam Bohach in talking uh, to him earlier today. Certainly wary of the challenge that this Mound Builders team poses to the Crimson Storm. And we'll hear from Coach Adam Bohach here in just a couple minutes as we get set uh, for tonight's action. But uh, Southwestern College finds their home in Winfield, Kansas. Uh, the Mound Builders, a very interesting uh, mascot, part of uh, campus tradition as far as people who build mounds as far as uh, just working hard to you know, build build things up essentially, not just in a literal sense, but metaphorical sense as well. And you'll notice in all of their uh, school paraphernalia, the black cat known as the Jinx, uh, something that came about through an old football rivalry with Fairmont College, which of course is now Wichita State University. So a little bit of just interesting tradition and history there at Southwestern College and always fascinating to see some of these smaller schools that the Crimson Storm face and just a little bit of their history and how they came to be. Yes, uh, of course, Southwestern College also boasts uh, Drake Vitatow on their roster and SNU transfer from two years back. Um, not sure if we will see him at all tonight. Uh, but he is on the roster there. Mostly Kansas natives, a couple Oklahoma natives, and Texas natives on this Mound Builder roster. Anthony Hickman, a sophomore center from Woodward, Oklahoma, also graces this roster. He's averaging just under six minutes per game this season. Uh, so probably might see him tonight, depending on how uh, the game flows uh, or just be the sheer fact that this is the fourth game in five days for the Mound Builders as well. For the Crimson Storm, it's been a great start to the season coming into tonight's game. Eight and three, three and one in conference play. Uh, and SNU actually played this same Southwestern squad two years ago in the season opener. Of course, SNU's first uh, year in what has been a tremendous three-year run for the program. 69-55, the win here on homecoming for the Crimson Storm. Micah Spate, 26 points and six threes in that game. Certainly a little bit closer than expected. Jonathan Dunn didn't even play in that game. Uh, just two players on the roster, uh, three players on the roster, I should say, from this Mound Builder squad that were 
here in Bethany two years ago. Andrew Hamm, six points, two rebounds in that game. Ten points for Jaron White and two points for Lorenzo Martinez. Andrew Hamm now the team's leading scorer, one of a few seniors on this bunch, and he and Jaron White will be looking to lead the charge for Southwestern this evening against SNU. Crimson Storm again, a big win on Saturday against Southeastern. We saw some great play from the freshman Carlin Kenner who got his first start of his career in place of Manny Dixon. Kenner will be starting once again tonight. And uh, Coach Adam Bohach mentioned that uh, it's just been a, just a matter of, of deserving. Uh, so fascinating to see his play develop over the course of the season. And we will see uh, again, Carlin Kenner in the starting lineup. Freshman Josiah Johnson also with a big game on Saturday against Southeastern. Four points and five rebounds in nine minutes. And was really composed in his time on the court for the Crimson Storm. Janet Bohach also mentioning the play of Ashton Charles. Charles went for 12 points and five rebounds on Saturday, one off his season high this year. That's two straight games for Charles, shooting 50%. He was two for seven from three-point range, but all of those, some really good looks and something that Coach Adam Bohodge wants him to continue to do as the season goes along and mentioned that an Ashton Charles three-pointer, probably one of the top five shots this SNU offense can generate at any given point. Both teams clearing off the floor here in Bethany, and we will take a quick timeout, and we will go ahead actually and pitch it over to head coach Adam Bohach and get his thoughts on tonight's game against Southwestern College of Kansas. We'll be right back here after we hear from Coach Bohach. Joined now by SNU head coach Adam Bohanch discussing tonight's game against Southwestern College. Coach, looking back at Saturday's game against Southeastern, what were you uh, most pleased with uh, in the win? Yeah, you know, I thought uh, there were several things we did well, but if you, if you had to just say one, Luke, I just thought that our connectedness uh, kind of in purpose on both ends that uh, – we played together defensively to, to guard those guys, and then that flowed right over into how we played offense. And so I was most pleased with, with kind of how we were all together uh, and had one purpose on both ends. Both freshman guards, Josiah Johnson and Carlin Kenner, with some great play on Saturday. How big is their development for this year and for the program going forward? Yeah, it's it's neat to see, and it's encouraging. And, and I just had both those guys in here this week. They had awesome semesters academically, uh, Luke, and they both fought through kind of their own adversity. And Joe being the first time away from home and, um, you know, has a great support system at home and, but he's a long ways from home and, and, you know, basketball definitely didn't get off to the start that he wanted or probably envisioned this semester. And boy, he's stuck with it and continued to do the next right thing. And, and I can see he's getting some momentum and, and has matured and, and, you know, earned a little bit of toughness and, and, and stuff with the way he stuck through that process. So that's really neat for him. And, and Carlin is really similar, great support system at home. Um, comes from a good program, you know, that, that probably gave him a leg up in terms of, of being ready to compete as a freshman. But, but it hadn't gone how he wanted, and it hadn't been smooth every day. And, and so it's neat to see those two kids so early in their career showing some character and some traits that I think, um, you know, set you up to have a chance to, to become a really good player by, by sticking with it and continuing to do the next right thing. Another week, another big accolade for Jonathan Dunn with the USBWA National Player of the Week. Uh, obviously, those are big for him individually, but how big are these national recognitions 
for the program as a whole? Yeah, I mean, it's it's neat, Luke. Um, you know, because of, of Jonathan and Micah and kind of the, the their careers here, you know, there's been a lot of firsts uh, for our program. And, uh, and with that comes a lot of attention and, um, you know, publicity uh, for the university. And, um, you know, that's kind of what college athletics does for, for a university. And so, um, you know, that's neat to see. Do you ever set goals for how you want the program to be perceived on a on a conference, a regional level, a national level? Yeah, we don't really talk about it or set goals, you know, on, on those kind of things. You can't uh, control what other people think of you, um, whether that be the, the media or, you know, coaches voting in the polls or anything. Um, you know, more focused on just how you're perceived by the people in that locker room because they know who you really are. Um, and and uh, what your character really is, what kind of teammate you really are. Um, and so we spend all of our time and energy talking about that, those kind of things. You had Southwestern College here in the season opener two years ago. What do they bring to the table for you tonight? Yeah, they're, they're good, Luke. Um, Coach O'Brien does a great, great job. Um, I, I noticed he got his 250th win. Uh, the other day, and then you look back at how quickly he's done that, and uh, boy, they, he's he's had a really good run there. They've been in the Sweet 16 of the NAIA Division II tournament the the last two years, and um, and you can see that when you watch films of his teams. They're they're a program. Um, they do things the right way. They're extremely well coached, uh, and they've won you know a bunch of games already this season, and have played a ton of games, and so they'll be you know, seasoned and experienced, and um, they present a bunch of uh, different challenges for us tonight. What do you hope uh, they present to your team as far as challenges go that you want your team to kind of focus on and work on? Yeah, they're good in transition. Um, you know, perhaps they're, you know, one of the better teams we've played in terms of they attack early in the shot clock in transition, and then they run some really good stuff through the middle portion of the shot clock. And then they have a couple dynamic guys who can do it at the end of the shot clock. Um, and so, you know, they're someone that we'll have to guard for the full 30 seconds um, because they, they just keep the heat on you the entire shot clock. So getting back and getting set and then being able to kind of outlast them and, and be there at the end of the clock to, to contest and, and block out and get a rebound, it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, how often we can rise to the challenge of, of doing that consistently for 30 seconds. Coach, thank you very much, and best of luck tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Luke.
Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. Starters being introduced right now for both teams. And we will run through those for you here as we get set for SNU and Southwestern College. First for the Mound Builders, number two, Andrew Ham, 6'3", senior guard. He's averaging nearly 20 points per game this season. Number three, Jaron White, averaging 7.6 points per game this season. Had a hot start to the season, uh, but has had a cool middle, but has been in double figures the last couple of games. Number 12, Lorenzo Martinez for the Mound Builders, averaging 3.7.6 rebounds per game. Number 20, Ahmad Pratt, 10.5 points, 5.5 rebounds per game. And number 23, Troy Baker, averaging 7.9 points per game and 8.4 rebounds per game. Also leads the team in blocks with 27 this season. For SNU, again, we mentioned Carlin Kidder in the starting lineup. That's the only, not the only change in the starting lineup tonight. Uh, number three, Micah Spate leading the way for SNU, averaging 20.9 points this season. Get Morris Wilson, number 11, the sophomore from Northwest Classen High School, averaging 9.2 points per game, 6.2 rebounds per game. A little nicked up in last Saturday's game against Southwestern back on December 7th. Uh, kind of battled through a bit of an injury against Southeastern last Saturday, and Coach Bohaj saying that the break will do him a lot of good as far as getting healthy. Carlin Kenner, the freshman from Dallas, Texas, wears number 15, two and a half points per game, 1.6 rebounds per game. Jonathan Dunn, again, the National Player of the Year, Division II Player of the Week from the U.S. Basketball Writers Association. After his 34-point, 15-rebound performance against Southeastern last Saturday, averaging 27.5 points per game, nearly six rebounds per game. It was his fifth 30-point game of the season. And in the middle, number 33, Ashton Charles, a junior from Spring, Texas, 5.9 points per game, 3.6 rebounds per game. Again, 12 points, five rebounds against Southeastern on Saturday. And the junior doing a lot of good things for SNU and getting the start this evening. Southwestern in traveling purple with white down the sides. SNU in the home whites with the crimson trim. Baker and Charles set to jump middle and Baker wins the tip. And Southwestern will control early here for this last game of 2019. Luke McConnell up here with you tonight. We're all set to go. Pratt controlling, guarded by Kenner. Now Ham on the left wing, guarded by Jonathan Dunn. Gets to the free throw line. Fadeaway jumper is short. And Kenner with a nice box out there with the rebound. Micah Spate working it across the timeline here. Sporting some new kicks tonight. Now Kinner left wing as Southwestern comes out in a 2-3 zone. High post to Mo Wilson. Corner Micah Spate. Three-pointers up and good. Which Adam Bohosh said he expected Southwestern to lay back some defensively and said they might take 35 threes tonight. And he was hoping that Jonathan Dunn and Micah Spate take most of them and that a lot go in. There's a travel going against Southwestern there. Ball going back to SNU. Leading 3-0. One minute gone by here in the first half. Chop missed there, and Baker has the rebound. Ham works it into the front court for Southwestern. Baker, right wing, now up top to Pratt. White swings it in the corner. Ham driving baseline. Bumped by Charles. Missed the layup, and Kenner has the miss for SNU already. His second rebound. Charles in the corner. He'll rise and fire for three and rattles it home. Another three-pointer for SNU, and Ashton Charles 
getting on the board early from three-point range. Baker left wing guarded by Wilson. Now Ham with it up top. Right wing White swings it in underneath to Baker. Not a good angle. Jumped it off underneath to Martinez. Missed the layup. Gets his own rebound. Puts it off the glass. No good. And Charles clears for SNU. Couple looks in tight there for Southwestern. Unable to fall. SNU looking to build their lead early. Wilson kicks it out to Kenner in the corner. Now Spate left wing. Swings it across court to Dunn. Baseline to Charles, dumps it in low to Wilson, swings it in the corner to Kinner, gets inside, goes all the way to the basket, lays it in with the left hand. And a quick timeout called here by Coach Matt O'Brien as SNU has raced out to an 8 0 lead. Be a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. SNU just moving the ball well around the perimeter, around that 2 3 zone. And three for four to start this one. Southwestern's missed three shots in close in the paint. They've been unable to find the range early. Martinez in particular, a couple of early misses. There for the mound builders. Back to action here as White will Bring it up. Southwestern, a little bit up and down season as far as play from everyone. Ham has been the most consistent as he gets inside and gets that one to roll home for the first points for Southwestern. Ham has scored in double figures in every game this season and has multiple threes in every game but one. Southwestern now into a man-to-man -man defense. Micah Spate controlling up top. Who's behind the Ashton Charles pick. Try to free up Jonathan Dunn. Free throw line jumper from Dunn is long off the back iron. No good. And Baker clears for the mound builders. White into the front court. Guarded by Micah Spate here. Now right wing to Baker. Now Pratt. He'll fire up a long three-pointer and rattle it in from the right wing. So 8-5 our score now, 16-20 to go first half. SNU jumped out to a quick 8-0 lead. The last five have come from the mound builders. They've quickly gotten out of their 2-3 zone. Jonathan Dunn, right wing for three, off the front of the iron, no good. Quickly up ahead, Pratt in transition and a blocking foul coming up on Carlin Kenner. It'll be a baseline out of bounds here. Foul drawn by Ahmad Pratt. First foul on Kenner. Quentin Wallace into the game for the first time. Martinez will take a seat for Southwestern. Twenty-six on the shot clock here. Sixteen oh two on the first half game clock. White looking to get it into Baker. Hook shot in the lane is good. And it's a one-point game for SNU. SNU's gone cold from the field. Jonathan Dunn, drive baseline, kick back. Ashton Charles, another three on the way. It's long. And Wallace has the miss. Quickly up ahead to Ham. Right wing guarded by Dunn. Goes behind the screen from Wallace. Fires up a three-pointer, and it's good. They ruled that a two-pointer, actually, instead of a three. So nine straight for the mound builders, and they have a 9-8 lead. Spate behind the Ashton Charles pick. Now done with it. Right wing trying to drive baseline on Ahmad Pratt. Unable to do so. Kinner trying to hide behind Charles. Charles puts it on the deck, spins it in the lane. Beautiful move. Left the hook short, though. And here comes Ham. Right wing to White behind the Baker pick. Now gives it back to Baker. He'll step back and fire up a three-pointer, and that's good. 12-0 run for SNU, or excuse me, for Southwestern. The Crimson Storm trail 12-8 now. 14-38 to go first half. Spate, he'll rise and fire to answer from three. It's no good. 
Rebound controlled by Ham. Here comes Southwestern. Pratt, left wing, guarded by Kinner. He'll fire up a three over him. That's an air ball. Micah Spade has the miss. Taking down to 14 minutes to go first half. Haven't had a stoppage yet. Ashton Charles, he'll step into a wide open three from the top of the key, no good. SNU's missed their last seven shots. Baker tried to fire it down low for Pratt, and it goes out of bounds, and that will finally take us to a timeout on the court. 13.55 to go, first half. It's Southwestern 12 and SNU 8. This is SNU Basketball. Welcome back to Bethany, SNU trailing Southwestern 12-8. 13.55 to go first half. Crimson Storm scored the first eight points of the game. The Mound Builders have rattled off the next 12 as SNU has missed their last six shots from the field. Unable to get things going. They've had quite a few good looks, just unable to get anything to fall thus far. Brady Mulkey into the game now for Morris Wilson. SNU maintains the same lineup with that one exception. Jeff Solace into the game for Southwestern along with Noah Webster. Spate drives on Solace, has to kick it back out. Jonathan Dunn guarded by Webster, goes behind the Brady Mulkey pick, gets caught, and gets it back to Micah Spate. Spate crosses over on Salas, gets all the way to the bucket, left it short. Brady Mulkey with a nice offensive rebound, tracks it down in the corner, sends it about up, back up top to Jonathan Dunn. Dunn steps inside of White, off the glass, and good! Good creative move by Jonathan Dunn there. First SNU points in about well, five minutes or so. Ham, left wing guarded by Dunn. Now Salas working on Ashton Charles. Salas, 12 and a half points per game in his last six. Has really come on strong after a slow start to the year. Wallace, baseline, gets it to go over Brady Mulkey from about 15 feet out. Southwestern continues their hot start, now six of 11 from the field. Done, left wing, guarded by Webster. Southwestern still in a man-to-man -man here. Right wing, Charles will fire up another three. It's long off the back iron, and White has the miss. Charles already five shot attempts in this one. Ham over Charles, left it short, and Ashton Charles has the miss. Spate behind the Charles pick, thought about the three, instead steps inside. Now kick corner, Carlin Kenner will try a three. It's off the iron, no good. And Ham coming back the other way for Southwestern. Salas flies by Charles and now steps back out. Wide open for three. Lofted off the mark. And Jonathan Dunn has the rebound for SNU. Dunn working inside of Webster. He'll float all the way to the basket and lay it in for two. Good hesitation move there by Jonathan Dunn. And the senior now with four points. Uh, this evening, Webster up top, guarded by Kinner. He'll drive, dish it out in the corner to White as he's falling down, and White buries the three-pointer. Already to the third three-point make for Southwestern. They make about 11 or 12 a game, and they're not shy about putting it up. 
done. He'll rise and fire for three. It's short. Looked like he either got fouled or it got blocked. But Mulkey grabbed the offensive rebound and SNU resetting here. Micah Spade finds Brady Mulkey on the backdoor cut along the baseline and a good look from senior to senior there. SNU trims the lead to three. Webster guarded by Kenner, now back up top, Solace. He's guarded by Charles, spins on him. Good defense by Charles and a nice block. Out of bounds there. And that'll take us to our second timeout of the first half. 10.42 to go here in the first half. SNU still trailing 17-14. Against the Mound Builders of Southwestern, we'll take time out and be right back. After this, this is SNU Basketball. Ten forty-two to go first half here in Bethany. SNU trailing by three, 17-14. And SNU scored the first eight points here, and Southwestern then proceeded to rattle off the next 12. And they have maintained the lead here. Inbounds from Darius Johnson underneath to... Ham and he spins away from Jonathan Dunn and lays it in for two. Ham with six points here in the early going and it's a five point game again. Micah Spate finds himself wide open behind the Brady Mulkey pick and he knocks it down for three. Defense flowed away from Spate and he was able to knock it down. Baker Martinez Back into the game, along with Darius Johnson for the first time. Ham will fire up a three to answer. It rattles in and out, no good. And Micah Spate clears for SNU. Mike Bauer into the game for the first time. Spate will fire up another three, and he got it. And SNU back on the high side here with 9.52 to go in the first half. And that pass intercepted by Josiah Johnson going all the way in. Missed the layup and a foul coming up on Noah Webster. A little bit of a grab from behind. And Johnson certainly wanted to have finished that. And had kind of looked to do a reverse layup with two hands almost. Kind of interesting situation there. First free throw, no good for Johnson. One more coming for the freshman from Big Sandy, Texas, and he knocks that down. And SNU leads by two, 21-19. Webster, Ham was not looking for that pass, but got it and saved it inbounds anyway. Webster has the pass knocked away, but kicks it to Baker in the corner. Johnson will fire up a very deep three, long off the back iron. Rebound tipped by Bauer, and it comes out to Micah Spate. Spate, right wing, hesitation dribble. Swinging around to Jonathan Dunn in the corner. He's wide open, and that is easy money for the senior from San Antonio, Texas. First three-pointer of the evening for Dunn, and now he steals the pass. Oh, stone hands that one. Johnson picks it back up. Missed the wide open layup. And SNU coming back the other way. That's about four missed shots at the bucket for Southwestern. Spate with Johnson all up in his grill. Gives it to Dunn. Step back. Three-pointer on the way. It's short. Rebound tipped around. Controlled by Mike Bauer. 
Spate, hesitation. He'll try a step back three pointer for Martinez, also short. And Johnson clears for Southwestern, pushing tempo quickly. Drives all the way in, stops at the second block, left it short. Rebound tipped around, comes back out to Webster. Drives baseline on Johnson, left it short there. And Spate has the rebound for SNU, and he takes a big sigh, and he'll walk it up across the timeline. Substitutions a plenty. Coming in next dead ball for Southwestern, and that will be after the next TV timeout. Johnson controlling up top. Now Micah Spade in the corner. Try to get Johnson to fly by with the pump fake, unable to do so. Now Dunn up top, guarded by Webster. He'll drive right by him to the basket and lay it in for two as the shot clock was under five. SNU stretching the lead back to seven. It's a 12-0 run for the Crimson Storm. Baker looked like he got hit in the face. Comes up wincing a little bit. Manny Dixon off the bench for SNU. Again, that will be the next dead ball. That shot by Ham is blocked by Jonathan Dunn, and Bauer clears for the Crimson Storm. Spate all the way to the basket. Reverse layup too strong with the English there. Brady Mulkey kicks it out. Back around, Jonathan Dunn, wide open, three-pointer is good. Jonathan! SNU now opening up a 10-point lead. Doing a nice job on the offensive glass thus far. That's translated into seven second chance points for the Crimson Storm off three offensive rebounds. Johnson tries to go through Brady Mulkey. Too strong with the little bunny in the lane. And Jonathan Dunn clears for the Storm. Not a lot of whistles in this one. Just one foul either way thus far. We are in for a very quick game tonight, folks. Already 6.20 to play in the first half. It's 29-19, SNU with the lead. Dunn behind the Brady Mulkey pick, and that's another three-pointer for Jonathan Dunn. Needed a minute to get going, but is he ever going now? Three straight threes for Jonathan Dunn. Johnson, kick in the corner. Ham will try to answer for three, and he does. Andrew Ham now with nine points. That's his first three-point make. Coach Adam Bohach said they'd take a lot of threes tonight. They're already, SNU already seven of 16. Three makes each for Dunn and Spate. Just what the doctor ordered. And Southwestern back in a 2-3 zone here. Jonathan Dunn finds himself open in the corner. Left it wide. Bauer lost the rebound out of bounds. And that'll take us to a timeout on the court. 5.33 to go here in the first half. SNU leading by 10. 32 to 22. It's an 18 to three run for the home team. We'll take timeout and be right back after this. This is SNU basketball. Welcome back, 5.33 to go here in the first half. A very fast first half here in Bethany. SNU leading 32 to 22. Southwestern in possession here after the fumble out of bounds by Mike Bauer. Jaron White, Ahmad Pratt, Quinton Wallace, and a foul coming up on Manny Dixon, who's into the game for the first time for SNU. Number 10, Dayton McGroarty 
into the game for the first time this evening as well for Southwestern. White inbounding on the baseline, gets it into Ham. McGroarty up top now, Pratt. White, right wing guarded by Johnson. Wallace, baseline guarded by Mulkey. He'll try to take him down to the block. Little shimmy with the left hand hook, left it short. And Mike Bauer clears for the storm. Jonathan Dunn taking a seat right now for SNU. The first time in a long time for Jonathan Dunn to get an in-game break that wasn't foul related. Well deserved also. Bauer right wing, now moves to the middle. Josiah Johnson trying to drive baseline on White. Kick back out Mulkey. Swings it wing, left wing to Manny Dixon. Drives baseline, lost the ball out of bounds as it hits the back of the stanchion. It'll be a SNU turnover with 4.39 to go first half. Wallace, baseline, guarded by Mulkey, kick back out to White. Guarded tightly there by Josiah Johnson. Floater in the lane is well off the mark, no good, and Micah Spade has the miss. Jonathan Dunn chattering incessantly from the bench there on that defensive possession. Mulkey, wide open, top of the key, fires up the three-pointer, and it's perfect. Brady Mulkey with the three-pointer there, his first point, second points of the evening. Five points so far for Mulkey. Ham, handoff to White. Now Ham back in the corner, guarded by Micah Spate. Got him in the air, drives by him to the baseline. Spate recovers, forces the fadeaway jumper, but Ham gets it to fall. Andrew Ham into double figures with 11 now. And the lead, also 11 for SNU at 35-24, 3.29 to go first half. Spate steps right into a three-pointer straight away and knocks it down. That's his fourth make in six attempts. He's got 12 to go along with five rebounds, four assists. Ham swings it to Pratt. He'll rise over Manny Dixon for three, left it short. Rebound tracked down in the corner. It's going to be off of Dixon, I believe. And that'll take us to a timeout on the court. 3.07 to go. First half, SNU leading 38-24. We'll take a quick timeout and be right back with the conclusion of the first half here in Bethany. This is SNU Basketball. Welcome back to Bethany. Some nice Christmas carols as the in timeout music here at Sawyer Center. Of course, Christmas just one week away. Hard to believe we are already at that point here in the holiday season. Hope you've gotten all your Christmas shopping done. A little pre-Christmas treat here. One more chance to see the Crimson Storm here at Sawyer Center. SNU will be on the road to start 2020 as they do the Arkadelphia two-step after New Year's. Mike Bauer trying to go with the Euro step there, unable to do so. He gets called for the travel with 2.50 to go in the first half. Good idea. Unable to execute there as SNU leads by 14, 38-24. 2.40 now to go in the first half. White. Right wing now swings it back around the top. Jeff Salas and Troy Baker back in for the mound builders. Jonathan Dunn back in for SNU along with Carlin Kenner. White 
Straight away, he'll try a deep three. It's long, no good. Carlin Kenner, strong rebound in front of Solace. Michael Spate will work it across the timeline. Southwestern back in a man-to-man -man here. He's done, controls left wing against Pratt. He'll fire and leave it short on that three-pointer. And Ham has the rebound and directing traffic. Gets Ham in the corner. Now Baker back outside. Pratt fire up the corner three over Ashton Charles and knock it down. Pratt's second three in four attempts. And the lead is 11 for SNU. Mike Bauer controlling up top now. Micah Spate, right wing. Bauer, he'll try the three from the right wing. Let, leave it short badly. And Salas has the miss. Ham fumbled it. But it comes back to Salas, fortunately. Went right through Jonathan Dunn's legs. Salas behind the back dribble. Has his pocket picked by Dunn this time. Two, one on two break. Dunn steps through two defenders and scores. Oh, my goodness. What a play from Jonathan Dunn. By himself on the fast break, and Euro stepped right between two defenders and got Solace to foul him in the process. What a finish from the senior. Jonathan Dunn to the line for one. 89.4% from the foul line this season. And he knocks that one in, no problem. The lead back to 14 at 41-27. Pratt. Mo Wilson also back in the game now for Mike Bauer on that free throw. Hamp, White takes a baseline. Pratt looked like he shuffled his feet there as he was starting his drive. Pratt's pass is deflected into the backcourt by Wilson. Ten on the shot clock. So we're under a minute to go first half. White going to have to hurry. Drives all the way to the basket. Bumped by Charles. Good defense, though. Salas, shot clock did not reset, and that is going to be a shot clock violation on Southwestern. Nice job by Ashton Charles there inside on the drive by White. Not losing his composure there as White came barreling in. So 47 seconds to go. Carlin Kinner with it now. Jonathan Dunn up top. SNU can go two for one if they want it here. Dunn looked like he was about to step into a three, but lost the dribble. Guarded by Baker. Putting on an exhibition. Puts it in, up over Baker. Left it short. Charles trying for the offensive rebound. Salas saves it in to Pratt. And Ham coming back the other way. Coach Matt O'Brien calling for one shot here as we're down to 15 seconds to go in the first half. SNU's done exactly what they said they would do and put up a lot of three-pointers. Salas will try to put some points on the board there. He does. Micah Spate, three-quarter court heave at the buzzer. Off the mark to the right. And that's how the first half comes to an end here in Bethany. SNU jumped out to an 8-0 lead. Southwestern countered with the next 12 and led by as many as five in the first half. But the three-pointers started falling for the Crimson Storm, and that was the difference in the first half for SNU. At halftime here in Bethany, it's SNU 41 and Southwestern 29. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have first-half stats and analysis and get you ready for the second half of action. This is SNU Basketball.
Welcome back to halftime here at the Sawyer Center. SNU in front, 41-29 over the Southwestern College Mound Builders of Winfield, Kansas. SNU a dominating first half from a shooting perspective, knocking down nine of 22 three-pointers. They were 45.5% from the field there in the first 20 minutes. Led by Jonathan Dunn coming off a 34.15 rebound performance against Southeastern on Saturday and garnering U.S. BWA Division II National Player of the Week honors. He's got 18 on 7 of 14 shooting, 3 of 9 from three-point range and a fantastic three-point play to end the first half. Also a pair of rebounds, a steal, and a block. For Dunn. Micah Spate, 12 points on four of eight shooting, four of six from three point range. Also has five rebounds and four assists. Three points for Ashton Charles, one for five from the field, one of four from three point range. A pair of rebounds for him. One point for Josiah Johnson on one of two free throws. Brady Mulkey with five points off the bench. Carlin Kenner with two points. And Mike Bauer, Manny Dixon, and Mo Wilson. Each have played, but have not scored thus far. SNU, 7-2 in second chance points off four offensive rebounds. We'll have a 12-6 advantage in the paint and a 6-0 points off turnover advantage as well as a 7-0 fast break point advantage. Just two turnovers for SNU in that first half, five for the Mound Builders. SNU leading the rebounding battle as well, 20 to 18. For Southwestern individually, actually corporately, 37.5% shooting in that first half, 45.5% from three point range, 5 of 11. Did not attempt a free throw in that first half, partly because there were only four fouls called in the entire first half, two on each team. Mount Builders did dish out eight assists on those 12 made baskets. Individually, Andrew Ham, 11 points on five of 10 shooting, also has five rebounds. Continues his streak of scoring in double figures every game this season. Ahmad Pratt, six points on two of four shooting from three point range. Five points for Troy Baker, three points for Jaron White and two points each off the bench for Jeff Salas and Quentin Wallace. Noah Webster, Dayton McGroarty, Darius Johnson, and Lorenzo Martinez each have played for the Mound Builders but have not scored in the first half. Looking over uh, since Saturday, just looking around the Great American Conference Scoreboard here. On the women's side, Washita with an 86-63 over Rogers State on Monday night. Northwestern with a nice win over East Central on the women's side, 76-68. And Southeastern bouncing back from Saturday's loss to down Arkans Arlington Baptist, 74-55. On the guy side, East Central escapes Alva with a 79-74 win over Northwestern. Southeastern with a 98-68 win over Arlington Baptist. Now Southeastern and Monticello out in Hawaii at the Hoops in Hawaii Classic. Uh, Tuesday night in double overtime, Oklahoma Baptist with a big win over Central Oklahoma. That being on the guy side, 109-105 the final up in Edmond on Tuesday night. And Tuesday night on the women's side, Southern Arkansas with a 74-49 win over Rogers State. Earlier today, out in Cleveland, Mississippi, Arkansas Monticello, a 79-59 loss to Delta State. And in the Fort Lauderdale Classic, Harding, the Lady Bisons uh, downed in a big way by Fort Hayes State, 
42-48, the final score there. Henderson State taking on Christian Brothers in Memphis tonight. And on the guy side, Henderson State men are up in Pittsburgh, Kansas, taking on Pitt State tonight. And that tip, that game has just tipped off. And we'll see if we can get a score later as the evening goes along. For Monticello and Southeastern, again, out in the Division II Power Invitational in Honolulu. Arkansas Monticello will be taking on Alaska Anchorage tomorrow in their first matchup there. And Southeastern taking on Simon Frazier, and they will determine their next opponents based on how that game goes tomorrow evening. Not much more on the slate for the rest of the week. Little games here and there. Southern Arkansas and Arkansas Tech have a couple of games. OBU taking on Central Christian on Thursday in women's basketball. Southern Arkansas at Texas A&M, Texarkana, and Harding playing Washburn in that Fort Lauderdale tournament. So Great American Conference team still in action as we go through the rest of 2019. And just a check of where we're at standings-wise going into the second two-thirds of conference play. Four games down on the guy side. SNU, Monticello, Southeastern, and East Central all tied at three and one. Of course, SNU with the win over Southeastern on Saturday. Their lone loss being to East Central back on November 23rd, an 81 to 80 uh, heartbreaking loss. SNU battled back late in that game and unable to get over the hump as the Crimson Storm fell to the Tigers. Arkansas Tech, Henderson State, Oklahoma Baptist, Washington, and Southern Arkansas all at 2-2. Two and two. Harding and Southwestern at 1-3. And, and Northwestern at 0-4. Oh on the men's side, on the women's side, got a bigger log jam at the top as Monticello, Southwestern, Arkansas Tech, Southeastern, and SNU all at 3-1 in conference play thus far. Southern Arkansas, Henderson State, Northwestern, and Harding each at 2-2. Two and two. East Central sits at 1-3, and then both OBUs at 0-4, oh Oklahoma Baptist and Washita Baptist down there at the bottom. So that's where we stand here in the Great American Conference as we get set for what should be a very exciting and very competitive 2020 side to conference play and we're gonna step aside for a short break and when we come back we'll have the start of the second half here in Bethany SNU leading 41 29 here at halftime at the Sawyer Center this is SNU basketball Welcome back. Starting lineups back on the court for both teams here to start the second half in Bethany. Southwestern with the basketball. And we'll be moving, or excuse me, SNU with the basketball. 
ready to get things going here in the last 20 minutes of 2019 for Crimson Storm Basketball. Thanks for joining us here on the SNU Video Network and Crossover Radio Sports. Little double dipping the rest of the way here on the home slate. Backdoor lob from Dunn, or excuse me, Spate. And Ashton Charles a little bit short-armed it and slammed it off the side iron. And Southwestern coming back the other way. Loose ball on the floor. A jump ball is going to be called between Mo Wilson and Troy Baker. And Southwestern will maintain possession here with 19.35 to go. 20 on the shot clock. The beautiful backdoor lob from Micah Spade to Ashton Charles. But Charles just kind of short-armed the dunk a little bit. Unable to get it to go. Ham, right wing. Had space for a three and said dumps it down to Wallace. Working on Charles. Spins with five on the shot clock. And a foul coming up on Ashton Charles. It'll be his first foul. First team foul of the second half. Of course, SNU with just two in the first half. And Wallace to the line for two free throws. Left the first one very short. 63.6% .6 this season from the foul line is Wallace. Averaging four and a half points, three and a half rebounds per game this year. Splits the pair. And the lead is 11 for the Crimson Storm. Kinner, right wing, guarded by White. Finds Jonathan Dunn up top. Goes behind the Mo Wilson pick, drives, stops, kicks it back up top. Ashton Charles wide open for three, and he rattles it in. Ashton Charles, his second three of the night. Pushing the lead back to 14 for SNU. It's their biggest lead of the evening. And have held that on multiple occasions now. Pratt working on Kenner, drives baseline, gets inside and scores. Pratt, very long and lanky at 6'8", 170. Drove right by the 6'2", Carlin Kenner. Jonathan Dunn wide open in the corner and he'll splash that three down. Nice back screen there from Charles. And Kenner able to find Dunn. White shut off on the baseline by Charles there. Kicks it back out to Ham. Now Pratt up top. Just for comparison's sake, Carlin Kenner listed at 185 at 6'2 and Pratt at 170 at 6'8. That goes to show you the different build there. Wallace, 15-foot face-up jumper over Charles is no good. Micah Spade has his sixth rebound. Spade behind the Mo Wilson pick. Charles, left wing. He'll try another three-pointer. It's long, no good. And Pratt has the miss. Charles doesn't miss very many right or left. Typically, it's always going to be a long miss. I just think about stepping back a couple inches and not changing a thing. SNU certainly needing him to be aggressive with his shot going forward. Ham down low over Jonathan Dunn. Left it short. Troy Baker, the offensive rebound. Hook shot is short, but crawls over the front of the rim. Seven points for Baker now. SNU leads 47-34, 17.05 to go. Spate, Kenner right wing now, goes in on White, scoop shot with the left hand, no good, Baker clears right off the front of the rim. Ham with it, right wing to White, he'll try the three, it's no good, Pratt got inside of Kenner, and that rebound's knocked out of bounds by Carlin Kenner, it'll stay here with Southwestern, with 16.46 to go. Mo Wilson checking out, Brady Mulkey in, Webster, Solace, and Anthony Hickman into the game. Hickman, the again, the so sophomore from Woodward, Oklahoma. And Ham gets inside and scores the layup there to cut the lead back to 11. Dunn with it up top. Guarded by Ham. Goes away from the Mulkey pick, drives all the way, tries to put Hickman on a poster. Left it short, but the foul is going to be on Hickman. 
And that is going to send Jonathan Dunn to the line for two free throws. Strong, aggressive drive there from Jonathan Dunn. And he will be at the line for two free throws here. First one up and good. One more coming. Jonathan Dunn came into tonight's game 149 points from the 2,000 point mark. He knocks down both free throws. Now at 23 points tonight, so 126 away at this point. All but guaranteed to get those on the homestand here in January. Webster stops, pops, but Mulkey there with the block. And Kenner comes away with a miss. Micah Spate goes behind the Ashton Charles pick, hounded by Jaron White. Lost the dribble, but gets it back. Charles with it now. Gives it up to Carlin Kenner at the top of the key. Charles steps out to the wing. Missed the shot, and Ham another rebound, his sixth of the evening. Salas steps right into a three from the top of the key. It's long off the back iron, and Jonathan Dunn clears for SNU. SNU leading 49-36, 15-35 to go. Dunn goes baseline, dishes off to Charles, blocked, but fouled by Salas, and that's how we go to timeout here in Bethany. Be the second foul on Jeff Salas. 15.31 to go here in Bethany. And SNU will take a 13 point lead into the timeout. We'll be right back after this here as SNU leads 49 36. This is SNU basketball. Fifteen thirty to go, SNU leading by 13, 49-36 over Southwestern College of Kansas. SNU just two for six to start the second half. Both of those are three-pointers. Ashton Charles at the line for two free throws here. Charles, 50% from the foul line this season, knocks down the first. Charles starting to come on of late. Eight points per game. His last four left that second free throw short, and Ham with the miss. Got five made three pointers his last two games. Salas gets inside a Kenner floater over Mulkey is good from Jeff Salas. Again, Salas, 12 and a half points per game. His last six also averaging 18 minutes per game. Slow start to the year for Salas. Single digits in minutes and a lot of score, a lot of goose eggs in the scoring column. Spate looking to pass there. Now finds Dunn up top guarded by Ham. Ten on the shot clock. Dunn doubled on the baseline. Charles inside. Gets it back out. Jonathan Dunn will try another three and knock it down. Jonathan Dunn putting SNU up by 15 is their biggest lead of the night. Salas has his pocket picked by Dunn on the pass from Ham, and Dunn will go in for the highlight slam there. Southwestern quickly back the other way. SNU transfer Drake Vitatow into the game for the first time today, and Ham got inside of Dunn, and Dunn committed the foul to send Andrew Ham to the line for two free throws. First foul on Dunn, second foul on the Storm here in the second half. Andrew Ham, 86.7% from the foul line, missed the first. 
One more coming for the senior from Aleph, Texas. Hits the second. Now has 14 points this evening. And a foul inside coming up on Hickman. His second, third team foul, and he will quickly check out for Troy Baker. A little bit of positioning battle there with Mulkey, I believe. Spate gets it in to Mulkey, who gives it back to Spate in the corner for three, left it short. Rebound tipped by Dunn, but controlled by Webster. Ham up top, guarded by Dunn now. Solace with it. Webster with Spate ripping away at it. Solace drives on Mulkey, floats it with the left hand, and he gets it to go. Good strong drive there by Jeff Solace. Cuts the lead to 14 at 55-41, 13-40 to go from the Sawyer Center. Dunn, step back three-pointer over Ham is off to the left, and Baker has the miss. Salas working it across the timeline against Kenner now. Kenner gets on the floor and tips the pass away, but Ham comes up with the loose ball. Webster with it, left wing. Bumped by Spate, lost the ball. Carlin Kenner on the floor, gets it over to Ashton Charles. Vittetown now on the floor with it, and a jump ball going to be called. It will be SNU basketball, and substitutions aplenty for the Crimson Storm. Mike Bauer, Nick Davis, and Josiah Johnson into the game for SNU. Charles Mulkey and Kenner check out for the Crimson Storm. Micah Spate still yet to come out of this one. Jonathan Dunn did get a quick breather in the first half. Micah Spate's gone the full 40, and this would be the fifth straight game for him. Dunn, driving baseline, leaves it off for Nick Davis, who tried to dunk it, lost it, but puts it back in as it rattles around and home. The freshman finally getting a little bit healthy after an ankle injury in the first game of the season sidelined him for a while. Baker on the baseline, missed the layup. And Micah Spate with the miss. Nick Davis, a good-looking freshman from Arlington, Texas. Spate floater in the lane is no good. Rebound tipped around, controlled by Mike Bauer. Sends it out, Jonathan Dunn. Swing it around. Micah Spate, 4-3. Yes, sir. Good extra pass from Jonathan Dunn. And Micah Spate knocks down his fifth three-pointer of the evening. He's now 5 of 8 from deep and has 15 points to go along with 7 rebounds and 4 assists. Webster working on Johnson now. Swinging around to Ham on the left wing, guarded by Dunn. Webster rises over Johnson for three, left it short. Dunn and Spate jostle for the rebound, and it's Dunn who gets the stat and gives it to Spate. Davis hands it back to Dunn, top of the key. He'll rise and fire for three, and they're just all falling for SNU at this point. That's now 14 made threes on 31. Three-point attempts, 11 and a half minutes to go here at the Sawyer Center, and you wonder what those final three-point numbers are going to be for the Crimson Storm. Exactly what Coach Adam Bohanch thought would happen defensively for Southwestern, just a little bit underneath. Ham will try a very deep three to answer. Didn't draw anything but backboard. Johnson the miss, and Spate coming the other way. Behind a couple screens, thought about the open three. Instead, gives it up to Bauer, who gives it up to Dunn. Dunn looking for the backdoor roll from Davis. Instead, throws it to Ham. Southwestern coming back the other way. Backdoor cut from Salas. Nice hands there by Nick Davis, who gets the steal. And SNU back the other way with a 22-point lead. Spate steps into a left wing three. Left it short, and it goes over the backboard. Officials... Apparently didn't see it go over the backboard, and we play on here with 10.30 to go. Salas steps into a deep three. He knocked it down. And a timeout called by Southwestern. And that will stretch us into our under-12 timeout. 10.27 to go here in 
Bethany, 63-44. SNU leading this one over Southwestern. We'll take time out and be back after this. This is the SNU Radio and Video Network presented by Crossover Radio Sports here at Sawyer Center. Ten twenty-seven to go in Bethany SNU leading by 19, 63, 244 over the Mound Builders of Southwestern. Mound Builders shooting just thirty-nine percent from the field. They're six of sixteen from three-point range. Make nearly twelve per game, and SNU's done a nice job limiting that production thus far. SNU, on the other hand, fourteen of thirty-two from three-point range, shooting forty-five point eight percent from the field for the game. Spate behind the Nick Davis pick. Harassed by Jaron White. Johnson driving all of the way to the bucket. Wild shot over Quentin Wallace is no good. But Johnson will go to the line for two free throws. And that will take us to another timeout on the court. So 10-11 to go at the Sawyer Center. Has the new still leading 63 44 with Josiah Johnson at the line for two free throws when we come back here on the SNU Video and Radio Network presented by Crossover Radio Sports. Josiah Johnson at the line for two free throws here as we return to action in Bethany. Johnson, a excellent free throw shooter this season. 90% coming into tonight. And he knocks down both. Give SNU a 21 point lead. Here ticking down halfway through the second half. McCrory back into the game for Southwestern along with Ahmad Pratt. White lobs that up. Looked to be a shot, but it ended up being a pass to Wallace. A foul coming up on Mo Wilson. Third team foul, it's Wilson's first. White lobs it in to McRorty who tracks it down at the three point line. Now Pratt swings it over to White, top of the key. Ham coming off the screen, too deep for three. Working on Dunn, drives baseline. Tried to get Davis up in the air to no avail. McCrory now drives in, kick corner White. Spate was there. Three on the shot clock, White has to force up a bad fadeaway and missed it badly. Davis has the miss for SNU. And Micah Spate walks it across the timeline. Jonathan Dunn sitting on 31 points tonight. Career high is 35. Just a couple nights after scoring 34. Against Southeastern, Spate into the lane. Kick corner, Mo Wilson will fire up the three-pointer. And he knocked it down. 
Mo Wilson, just his fifth three-pointer of the season. Now five of 21 from deep. Those are his first points of the night as well. Ham on the baseline, fadeaway over Dunn. He blocked it, and Micah Spate comes flying in for the rebound. McRorty nearly ripped that away from Spate, but able to do so. Spate hits the rolling Davis. A little bit too strong with the left hand there. Pratt came away with it. Now White has it. Josiah Johnson nearly jumped the passing lane there. Pratt tried to no look Ham in the corner. Instead, Dunn picks it off this time. Johnson lobs it up to Dunn and tried to go in one handed with the left hand. Foul coming up on Jaron White, and that'll send Jonathan Dunn to the line for two free throws with 8.25 to go. Again, Dunn just a few points away from a career high. Knocks down the first. Manny Dixon back in for Josiah Johnson. One more for Dunn here, and he takes care of business. 33 now for Jonathan Dunn tonight. White guarded by Spate, and a foul coming up on Micah Spate. Fourth team foul in the Crimson Storm. The first on Spate. Ham drives to the baseline, gets done to fly by, steps through, too strong, threw it over the rim. Wilson has the miss for SNU. We take down under eight minutes to go. SNU 70 44 with the lead here. And it's been the Jonathan and Micah show. Manny Dixon drives, left that one short, might have been blocked by Pratt. Loose ball comes out to Andrew Ham, looking to run, leaves it up for Pratt. Fouled from behind as he went in for the dunk. And that'll take us to a timeout as that foul gonna be on Manny Dixon, knocking the arm of Ahmad Pratt from behind. 7.40 to go here in Sawyer Center, SNU leading 70 to 44 over Southwestern will take timeout and be right back after this here on the SNU radio and video network. Seventy to forty-four, SNU leads this one. Seven forty to play here in Bethany. SNU's controlled this one for most of the way. Southwestern did have a few leads there at the early stages of the first half. Their last lead at nineteen to seventeen, and had led by as many as five in those first ten minutes. But SNU grabbed control. Behind a couple of threes from Micah Spate and Jonathan Dunn and have been in control ever since. Ahmad Pratt knocks down the first free throw for Southwestern. Pratt, a 84.6% free throw shooter. He's had an up and down year, as have a lot of these guys around Andrew Ham. Wallace checking out Troy Baker back in as Southwestern extends some full court pressure. Ashton Charles, the trigger man. Gets it in to Manny Dixon. Dixon cross court to Dunn. Got some, had Nick Davis up ahead, but Jaron White quickly back to cover up. 
SNU breaks pressure no problem, and Spate will run the offense here. A little weave action up top. Dunn coming off the screen. Lobs it for Davis. It's knocked out of bounds by Baker with eight on the shot clock. Dunn trying to set the freshman up there. Spate, corner three-pointer off the inbound is short. And Pratt has the miss. Three-pointer from Pratt is no good. Spate has the miss for SNU. Crimson Storm coming back the other way with 6.45 to play. Handoff from Davis to Spate. Cross court, Dixon drives in, grabbed and held by Pratt. And Manny Dixon will go to the line for two free throws here. Andy Dixon did not play at all against Southeastern on Saturday. Five minutes tonight thus far. Looking for his first points of the evening. Hits the first free throw. One more coming. Kenner and Mulkey return. Davis and Dunn will take a seat. Salas back in for Southwestern, in for the first time. Cooper Pierce for Southwestern. Mandy Dixon goes two for two at the line. He's 82% coming into tonight from the charity stripe. Very dependable there. The transfer from St. Peter's, five and a half points, two and a half rebounds a season ago as a freshman. This is sophomore campaign. White drives around Spade. Reverse layup, up and good for Jaron White. And the lead is 24, 72, 48 in favor of the Crimson Storm. Spate, we're going to white kick corner. Ashton Charles, three-pointer on the way. It's no good. Manny Dixon flies in for the offensive rebound, puts it up a little bit wide. No good. Southwestern coming back the other way. Salas, left wing guarded by Carlin Kenner. Sends it over to White. Working on Micah Spade as he has most of the night. McRorty is guarded by Ashton Charles. Five on the shot clock, he's gonna have to hurry. And a foul is gonna be called on Ashton Charles for bodying into Baker setting a screen for McRorty. So 20 on the shot clock here as Southwestern gets a fresh reset. Salas creates some space with a little bump on Kenner. Missed the shot, very short. SNU coming the other way quickly. Manny Dixon sends it back up top to Micah Spate. Goes around the Brady Mulkey pick. Gets Baker in the air, missed it. The layup badly. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Pierce. Pierce to McRorty, he drives baseline around Mulkey. Reverse layer, missed everything. And Mulkey has the miss. 5.08 to go, SNU still leading 72-48. What has been a tremendously fast game. Manny Dixon with the finger roll, left it short. Clearly a little bit frustrated. A excellent drive there by Manny Dixon though. Baker, hand off to McCrory. Now Pierce with it, guarded by Mulkey. He'll fire up a three pointer from there. No good, well off the back iron. Long rebound comes out to White. Solace from the right wing, missed everything. Rebound goes off of Pierce. Out of bounds with 4.40 to go. And it will be SNU basketball. A little bit of sloppy both ways here in the last few minutes. SNU again still in firm control. Now shooting 41.1% for the game. Southwestern down to 34.5%. SNU shooting just 35% in the second half alone. Kenner drives baseline on Pierce. Euro step foul coming up. They are going to get Cooper Pierce with that foul. It'll be the seventh team foul on Southwestern, so it'll be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here for the freshman Carlin Kenner.
Number 32, Jake Hurdle into the game for Jaron White. So one and one opportunity here for Kenner. 77.8% foul shooter this season. Rolls in the first one. One more coming. Jonathan Dunn sitting on 33 points. We might not see him as he's currently sitting on the bench. Kenner got the second free throw to die on the back rim. Ball tipped out of bounds there by SNU. Southwestern will inbound with 20 on the shot clock. Hickman back in, Josiah Johnson back in, and Micah Spate finally getting an in-game break, not foul-related. Again, he hit, picked up those three fouls in the first half on Saturday against Southeastern. That was his first break in four games. Salas gets that one to go. But this is his first involuntary break. Excuse me, voluntary break in quite some time. Charles up top, hand off to Manny Dixon. Now Charles, left wing, gets Hickman in the air, steps through on McCourty and, oh, in and out. Rebound tipped and controlled by Josiah Johnson. He is harassed and fouled by Hurdle. And that'll take us to a timeout on the court. 3.42 to go in Bethany, 74.50 SNU leading this one comfortably and looking to finish out 2019 with a win over the mound builders of Southwestern College. We'll have the final few minutes of basketball in 2019 right after this here on the SNU Video and Radio Networks. Josiah Johnson at the line for a one and one opportunity here. Knocks down the first free throw for SNU, pushing that lead to 25. One more for the freshman. In and out, no good. And Ashton Charles gathers it and stuffs it home. Ashton Charles, big strong move there for the junior. And SNU leads by 27. McCrordy, harassed by Dixon. Southwestern swings it around, gets it down to Hickman on the baseline, working on Mulkey. Cross-court skip pass, deflected and stolen by Charles. Charles, leading the break by himself, goes all the way to the basket, blocked out of bounds by McCrordy with 3.11 to play. Substitutions coming for SNU. Ashton Charles and Brady Mulkey will check out. Cam Patterson and Mike Bauer in for SNU. Dixon gets the pass from Johnson on the inbound and knocks down the three-pointer in the corner. Good look there from Manny Dixon. Johnson drives, left the layup short. Bodies everywhere, and Josiah Johnson has the miss for SNU. Good look at the future of this SNU pro program outside of Wilson and Charles and Davis, who are currently on the bench. But this is a group right now, Kenner, Bauer, Patterson, Dixon, and Johnson. Kenner goes in strong, unable to get it to go, but he will go to the line for two free throws. 
is the foul going on Paul Fiorentino, sophomore guard. First free throw from Kenner is good. And one more coming. SNU empty in the bench. Carson and Berg in for the first time. Andy Dixon takes a seat. Quentin Coleman at the scorer's table ready to check in as well. Kenner hits them both, and he will check out. Quentin Coleman into the game for the first time for SNU. Substitutions aplenty for Southwestern. Greg Vitale back in for Southwestern along with Brian Hugeberg Van. Hurdle will try a three pointer over Cam Patterson and knock that one down. Confident looking stroke from Hurdle. It's his first three point make of the season. Berg, left wing, now Coleman up top. Syed Johnson goes behind the Bauer pick, working on Vitatow. Now Coleman with it. Crossover, gets to the free throw line, gives it back out. Josiah Johnson will fire up a three, left it short. And a foul coming up on Cam Patterson on the offensive rebound with a push. And it will send Southwestern to the line for a one and one opportunity. Josiah Johnson and Mike Bauer will check out. David Miller and Jackson Rothwell in for SNU. Cooper Pierce at the line for a one and one opportunity. Missed it. And Berg tips the rebound over to Rothwell. Rothwell with it. Left wing. Ian Patterson posting up. Rothwell takes it all the way to the basket and lays it in for two. Strong drive from Jackson Rothwell. Reaching foul coming on Karsten Berg on Jungenberg. And that'll send Jungenberg to the line for two free throws. Knocks down the first one. Thought that was on the shot. Apparently it was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. They made the first, so either way, it's going to be the same thing. One more coming. He hit them both. 84-55 SNU leads. One and a half minutes to go at the Sawyer Center. We've action up top. Coleman behind the Patterson big kill. Fire of a three-pointer. That one's blocked. Rebounds tipped out. Berg has it baseline. Tries to go through Jungberg. Missed the shot. Patterson has it. Has it ripped away from behind by Hurdle. Hurdle goes through David Miller. Lays it in off the glass. Nice aggressive drive by Jake Hurdle, who has shown no fear in his few minutes this evening. David Miller drives in. He's going to be fouled by Hurdle with 56 seconds to go. David Miller. To the line for two free throws. A freshman from here in Bethany. Looking for his first points of his SNU career. And he knocks down the first one, no problem. With that with a smooth lefty stroke. Long on the second one. Fiorentino has it. Behind the back dribble, harassed by Coleman. Now Vitatow on the left wing, guarded by Miller. Working into the paint, spinning, 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 pivoting, throws it up, left it short. Hurdle comes flying in, gets another offensive rebound. He'll try another three-pointer in front of the Southwestern bench, no good. Rebound tipped away from Rothwell by Pierce. Now Jungeberg missed it short and a foul underneath. Going to be on Southwestern. They're going to get Hurdle, who's been a bull in the china shop on the uh, offensive glass. That's his third foul. 
in four minutes time. Cam Patterson at the line for two free throws here with 27 seconds to go. Knocks down the first, one more coming. Patterson hits both, and Southwestern going to run something here in the last 20 seconds. Hurdle. Thought about th firing up another three, but Rothwell with good position there on the closeout. And SNU will instead get the final 14 seconds here in Bethany. 2019 has been a special year for SNU basketball, and the special nature of this program will continue into 2020. That's the final here in Bethany. Southern Nazarene takes this one over Southwestern College, 87-57, the final here at Sawyer Center. We will take a quick timeout, and when we come back, we will have final stats and analysis and talk to head coach Adam Bohach and look ahead to what 2020 holds for the Crimson Storm here at Sawyer Center and along the road to another potential Great American Conference title. This is SNU Basketball, and we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 